Former Boeing employee who went public with safety concerns over the 737 MAX has died. It happened just weeks after another Boeing whistleblower committed suicide. Boeing is in trouble right now. The company behind the jumbo jet, the 747 that changed commercial flying forever, and the iconic 787, the aircraft that advanced the use of composites in aviation like no other plane before, keeps stumbling from one crisis to the next. When the door plug came off Alaska Airlines 1282, it wasn't the first time that the 737 MAX was the aircraft under investigation. In 2018 and 2019, two deadly crashes five months apart grounded all aircraft. It led to Boeing paying massive fines and apologizing for putting out an inherently disastrous design that killed 346 people. Prioritizing shareholder profits in extreme cost cutting has led to Boeing not recording a profit for the past five years and now have refused to share 2024's financial outlook. But far from learning their lesson, they keep repeating the same mistakes. In this case, not installing the four bolts on the door plug after Boeing employees took them off to fix badly installed rivets. Boeing and its subsidiary Spirit Aerosystems have quality management systems that don't work well together. Routinely messing up information of what's on the plane and what was taken off. Boeing knows this, but instead of fixing this crucial error in their process, their solution, according to whistleblowers, is to have Spirit employees in the factory floor full time to rectify such mistakes. This lacks attitude to safety with stopgap fixes placing burden on employees to catch errors with the bad system has no place in modern aviation. No wonder then that even their former employees are publicly stating that they have no confidence in them and will not fly on the 737 MAX aircraft. How did Boeing become so bad and will they ever recover their reputation? To understand what is happening today, we need to go two decades back when Boeing merged with McDonnell Douglas. McDonnell CEO at the time, a disciple of GE executive Jack Welch, who fired over 250,000 people in his time as head of GE, changed Boeing's culture to more business focused and less engineering focused. There's something to be said for setting proper deadlines and to avoid Parkinson's law, but too often businesses enforce deadlines for the sake of it and deliver bad products all in the name of running a lean company. A philosophy that works quite well for software companies, but often troubles hardware ones. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Boeing and its subsidiaries let go of approximately 16,000 employees, including 900 quality inspectors. Developing detailed knowledge of an area in aviation can often take many years. As some problems and niche issues are only properly understood after working on a product over a long period of time. This expertise cannot be easily replaced by hiring subcontractors or a new employee. Due to the high turnover, this loss of expertise is essentially like signing your own debt certificate. Boeing tried to compensate by automating a lot of inspection processes, like automated pressurization tests to check if everything in the fuselage had been correctly installed. It's clear now that this wasn't enough. But to understand the scale of Boeing's troubles, we have to go back four years ago, when two Boeing 737 MAX 8s crashed due to a major design flaw killing 346 people. After these crashes, FAA increased its oversight of Boeing's manufacturing, and Boeing had to deal with the fallout, which took time and resources, which led to less time developing new aircraft. As a result, Boeing's offer of aircraft now fits a narrower segment of the market compared to Airbus. Airbus offers planes from the 100-seat A220 all the way up to the massive A350-1000. Airbus also has the A321neo, which can fly a greater number of passengers much further than Boeing's 737 MAX 10, a plane still awaiting certification due to the current crisis. Airbus overtook Boeing as the world's largest plane maker in 2019 and delivered record number of aircraft in 2023. In the world of aviation, changes permeate slowly over many years. Boeing used to be the gold standard for many years, 
the decisions taken over two decades ago have put Boeing slowly in crisis. And even if the company fixed all its mistakes, it would take many more years before it would be reflected in the market. It's also worth noting that both Airbus and Boeing have huge manufacturing backlogs. So Airbus is unlikely to gain much of an advantage in the short term, as they are very much sold out for the next eight to nine years. So Boeing can still turn this around, provided they address the underlying issues, focus on safety, and win back the trust of its customers. Otherwise, they could be in deep trouble past 2030, if not earlier. The lack of trust of customers is not just limited to Boeing. It's also in the FAA. FAA is considered the leading regulator worldwide, and when it comes to safety, procedures, and recommendations, other regulators around the world follow the FAA's lead. As both United Airlines and Alaska Airlines announced, they'd found loose bolts on their aircraft. Other countries didn't wait for advice from FAA. It was apparent from the fact that despite having no MAX 9 aircraft, South Korea, China, and India all ordered their airlines to examine their fleet of MAX 8 aircraft. Indonesia ordered Lion Air to inspect the doors on its MAX 9 aircraft. This is because when it comes to Boeing, FAA has been accused of not being a truly independent regulator. Before the Lion Air and Ethiopian Air crashes, FAA essentially trusted OEMs like Boeing to self-certify as FAA didn't have the resources to do so itself. According to former whistleblowers, Boeing can easily pressurize them to get the result they want. This is a huge red flag, as a regulator has to be independent, otherwise it defeats the purpose of having one at all. So while it didn't take long for the Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft to start flying again, it could be a long time before Boeing can fix their reputation and address the culture of the company. They prioritized profits and made cost cutting their top priority, but this strategy failed as Boeing hasn't turned a profit in the past five years and refused to announce the financial outlook for the year 2024 in a recent call. Airbus sells more plane and is increasing in reputation with better offerings selling record number of planes as Boeing slides further behind. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. I appreciate you all.